Many people watching this about to head out to the train and we cover train accidents all the time. In fact, it just happened again. This one right here just days ago, a train in Barcelona crashed, a passenger train. Latest numbers here show more than 50 people injured. Officials still investigating what went wrong. And it is a terrifying scene considering how many of us ride those trains every single day. But now a new way to stop those accidents from ever happening. There's a super secure training site in the Colorado desert that's normally closed to the public, but this morning we are getting rare access with dramatic demonstrations, new technology, most of it never seen before, that could save your life next time you're on a train. High speed crashes, passenger trains out of control. People just screaming for their lives. We just heard people screaming they couldn't get out. Freight trains derailing too, spilling hazardous gases into neighborhoods, forcing evacuations. Already this summer, new train accidents from Wisconsin to Missouri. And just days ago, this train derailing in Ohio. In Washington, this Amtrak train was speeding when it flew off the tracks. In Illinois, this tanker is spilling tens of thousands of gallons of crude oil. According to the Federal Railroad Administration, there were almost 11,000 train accidents and incidents last year alone. 805 people killed, almost 4,000 injured. Now, how to prevent these crashes from happening at all? Unveiling cutting edge technology that could save lives. It's all happening right here at this giant training and research facility in the middle of the desert in Pueblo, Colorado. To show you how big this is, it is 52 square miles of train tracks and simulated train accidents like this. They haven't allowed cameras in here in 20 years, but today, exclusive access for us. First up, the surprising hidden danger causing most train derailments, cracked wheels and the new device that can stop them. Broken wheels are a major cause of derailments. What we're doing here with this technology is finding broken wheels before they actually break. Now these high tech sensors can take ultrasound photos of the wheels in a millisecond, capturing microscopic cracks that can cause a catastrophe. So right now it's taking pictures that fast of all the wheels. The image popping up in an instant and look, those hairline cracks are right there in red. That could be enough to derail a train. This can be a game changer and save lives. It certainly can save lives. But what happens when trains are out of control, either traveling too fast or the engineer is unresponsive. Like this Metro North commuter train that derailed, killing four people. Experts say technology called positive train control could have prevented it, stopping moving trains automatically. So if something happens to you and you can't run the train, it will be able to bring the train to a stop. By itself? By itself. As we barrel down the tracks, we're approaching a red light. It's giving me an alert right now to bring it to a stop. It's a warning break. So you're not gonna touch anything. I'm not gonna touch anything. Like something has happened to you and we're gonna see if this train stops itself. Correct. We can see the red light ahead and the PTC kicks in. It's stopping. I can feel right. it breaking. It's applying the brakes to the entire train. So if something had happened to you, we would be safe back there. Yes. It's amazing. The train coming to a complete stop before the red light. In real life, the difference between life and death. But when an accident does happen, first responders learning new tricks to save us all. One of the most dramatic training exercises they do here is this, a freight train derailment. As you know, these freight trains go through cities and towns across America. This one has hazardous materials in it, chemicals. In the old days, firefighters would take a chemical sensor and actually have to walk into this to put it in there so they would know whether they need to evacuate your home, which is right here, or a mile that way or on the other side. But now, something much better and faster to keep us all safe. That's the chemical sensor right down there, and you can see it's actually attached to a drone. So let's launch the drone up. Our NBC drone is in the air right now to show you how fast this can happen. We're going to launch it and they're going to put it in there. It keeps firefighters out of harm's way and gets the information faster for the rest of us. Joe, you're a firefighter in Edison, New Jersey. Yes, this yes. impacts your community. Why is this so great for you? It's great because it keeps us out of harm's way and it allows us to get rapid information to keep our community safe and tell us what's going on. And most keeping you safe as well. Absolutely. Thank you very much for everything you do. So that's just one of the things they do here and they're deploying this technology across the country right now life-saving technology that could save you from a train crash.
Pretty cool stuff. So what should you do if you are in a train accident? The first step, of course, always listen to directions from the train crew. Next, you should look for a way out. Also, of course, there are both emergency windows and doors you can operate manually. As for the safest place to sit, everyone always asks, should you sit in the front? Should you sit in the back? Experts say the middle of the train may be the safer place to sit because if there is a crash, the energy likely will be a crash on the front or the back. So you have a less chance of derailing in the middle. We all like that sensor. Yeah, that really drone, cool. That drone yeah, thing. It's such that a was smart cool. Keeps the firefighter safe, drops that sensor in real time information about what they're dealing with. Smart yeah, people. Great. And you've got more coming up on this series tomorrow. Yeah, right? our series Keeping Us Safe continues tomorrow. As you know, Dylan's sitting right here. It's the summer storm season. Reporting on it every day. Already this year, dangerous flash flooding and lightning strikes. But now, popular apps say they can tell you when it's going to start raining and stop raining down to the minute so you're not caught in that severe storm. Question is do they really work? We're going storm chasing, trying this out. That is tomorrow morning right here on Today, three of the most popular apps. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.